in this lesson we're going to add an accordion uh, add-on so you click on add-on and you choose the accordion and then you can choose the admin label and bother the admin labels are not required you don't necessarily have, need to have them there but I always like adding them because it helps me to you know in terms of organization to know what's in that particular section all right so you have the accordion you can choose the different styles here and we're going to take a look at that later so right now you click on this and it has the title you can choose the different types of icon that you want to use for this section here and use the content and also you can integrate uh, this is integrated with JCE editor which I'm going to show you how to use the JC editor so let's say you want to choose this icon here and let's duplicate this click on duplicate and we want to make this one let's choose something else here accordion title 2 and I'm just going to duplicate this a few times and you can independently choose the different icons that you want for each one you can also toggle this uh, if you want to work on some other stuff to code in. So let's click on apply. So now you have the accordion. Click on save. And we're going to log in to the front end of the site. So we can start to work on the editing on this part as well. Okay, so let's click on preview. So this is what it looks like. And let's go back there and let's click on the front end editor. And we're going to edit this on the front end. Once you're going to put your mouse over this, you automatically are able to work on it. So with the with the accordion, you can choose the title, the the, the font size or the, the age tag. So you want H1, 2, 3, or 4. And once you do that, you notice that you have the line height, the title line height. You have the font style. Do you want this to be uppercase, lowercase, italics? And you can choose more than one. So you can choose multiple ones here to give it a specific style that you want. And that is going to change uh, what this says here, accordion. And you can choose the, the title color. Choose something random there. You can choose the font weight. And you put in that bold. And you can choose here the, the letter space. And this is the space in, in the, you know, that's inside of the particular um, add on here or this accordion. So I'm just going to choose six or five. You can choose the top margin, the bottom margin, the default style. You want primary. So let's change this one to primary and click on. All right, let's go over to the style. Now, if you want to change the title color, the link hover color, you can do this. I showed you before you have a lot of flexibility. If you want to uh, add the background to this, you can do that. If you want to enable borders, uh, you can be able to do that as well. If you want to add a border radius, I'm just going to put in something here. And once again, if you don't know how something is going to look, you want to get a different fill, uh, then you can just put in random numbers. That's what I usually do because by putting in there uh, then I get to see is that too much is it too little do I need to add more do I need to take some more off and if you want to set the margins this is where you set the different margins um, for this here and the padding for this one as well so the border color I'm gonna change this one to black the border, border width you can you can either type the number in or you can use the scroll here to five Enable animation, yes. So let's go over to the responsive section. So we want to make sure that everything is showing here. Okay, so let's click on apply and see what we've got. So when you click on apply, you notice immediately there's some changes to this. You can sample them. And then once you're done, make sure that you click on save. So you see, see right now the accordion, you know, looks great. If you want to change the color again, if you don't want to change that, keep that a primary, uh, this is where you notice I mentioned before the accordion the title it says underline so if I don't want this to be underlined I can take that off and then the spacing between each item it's a little bigger so for the accordion style you can choose whatever color that you want so you have primary success info so let's choose warning and click on all right let's let's change some icons here so we have to adjust for that one 
you want to choose different icons for each section here I love icons so one of the things that I do is uh, like changing different icons here so I'm going to change this one to Apple and I'm going to click apply and then click on save so even before you click on save it changes automatically so this is really great for for branding purposes you know sometimes you want to change things to match the color of your website maybe you have a specific color or colors that you want to go after by changing it like this then it gives you that flexibility and control for you to uh, give it the, the specific look uh, that you want